dissatisfaction as a key driver of human motivation. If humans were satisfied with one good meal or one good sexual encounter, the human race would not have survived. Dissatisfaction drives us. Hunger triggers the need for nourishment. Sexual arousal stimulates sex, which propagates the species. In this regard, dissatisfaction is linked to natural selection, says Robert Wright, author of Why Buddhism is True, The Science and Philosophy of Meditation and Enlightenment. And he was speaking on NPR's Fresh Air. On a personal level, dissatisfaction drives people to push themselves to achieve goals. Consider this more of a personalized natural selection. Channeling dissatisfaction can be a challenge. And here are three ways to make it work for you rather than against you. Accept dissatisfaction. Humans are not engineered to be blissful all the time. We have to work to achieve it. Seeking to accept it and make it work for us is powerful. Channel it. Do something with your dissatisfaction. Feeling stuck in your career? Consider acquiring new skills to improve your current lot or embark in a new direction. Build on it. Achieving your goal may take months or years. Big things take time to accomplish, whether it's going back to school or developing a new skill. You may be tempted to quit. Let dissatisfaction with the current moment push you to keep going in this new direction. As powerful a motivator as dissatisfaction is, there are limits. Perpetual dissatisfaction leads to chronic unhappiness. Being unfulfilled in a quest for a goal is a positive thing. Being unfulfilled when you achieve the goal is not a positive. Dissatisfaction is indeed a key driver of human survival. Making a workforce is a challenge that can at times be unsatisfying. But you know, in the long run, this temporary discomfort to achieve a goal will be worth it.